Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for um, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, this is your weekly reading for this week. Um, so Divine Masculine, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So this reading can manifest um, this week, it can manifest later on down the line of time. Or Divine Masculine, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So Divine Masculine, I got a couple of messages for you during the pre-shuffle. The first message that I got was Divine Masculine, somebody is stressed this week. Is you or somebody else? If it's somebody else, Divine Masculine, it could be a female, don't have to be. But somebody stressed out. The second message I got was um, somebody no longer has an option. Somebody no, no longer has a, has a choice. In the past, somebody had a choice, but they I guess they didn't make a choice. So this week, or whenever this energy manifests, the choice is not up to somebody no more. So... It's like no somebody no longer has options or they no longer have the choice. They no longer have a choice or a choice is going to be made for somebody because they didn't make a choice in the past. Or divine masculine for you or somebody else, something that somebody could have been going through for the past between a year to two years, it might come to an end this week. Somebody was going through something for the past one to two years. Um, and this week, it might come to an end. The third message that I got was Divine Masculine. You or somebody else could be like a firefighter. Somebody, I picked up a firefighter. A firefighter or, or should I say a fireman? Mm -hmm. Or something to do with a fire this week. But Divine Masculine, I heard stay calm and you can handle it. So Divine Masculine, you could be a firefighter or somebody you know is a fireman or whatever. Um, the put out of this fire, <clears throat> somebody's going to be tempted to be intimidated by this fire. Um, it might take a while or longer, longer than expected to put this fire out. Um, but Divine Masculine, I picked up that you or somebody else it's going to be okay. You got it. Like you're in control of this fire. It's not going to get out of control. Don't give up and just keep at it. And the fire is going to die down. It's going to go out. You're going to be able to put the fire out. So um, don't panic. And you got this. I also heard Divine Masculine, if you're a fireman or something, if you haven't had no type of action in your town in like maybe a year, um, or some months, Divine Masculine, I heard, don't worry, it's going to be a fire this week. So if you bored, if you're a fireman and you bored because there haven't been any fires or whatever, something going to go down this week. Um, so Divine Masculine, you're going to have a job this week. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fire. <laughs> um, the last message that I picked up was, I'm going to see if that energy come out during the, the tarot reading I'm going to see Divine Masculine I don't know if this is demons or a person with entity attachments or this is a person that just got a whole bunch of problems or Divine Masculine I don't know if that could have been you in the past somebody got like a whole bunch of problems issues so I don't know if this is unclean spirits or somebody just got problems. Somebody got too many issues. Divine Masculine, that might get dealt with this week. So Divine Masculine, you might be getting rid of like somebody that just that just got problems. Uh, I mean, a lot of problems. And Divine Masculine, you might get rid of it. Or Divine Masculine, I don't know if this could have been you in the past. You had all these issues, all these problems. And I don't know what's going to go on for you, Divine Masculine, if that's you. But it's like, that's going to be um, done away with. Um, somebody had too many problems. Um, I also just heard health. 
So I don't know if somebody had a lot of like ailments. And I don't know if this person might pass away this week. Somebody had like a lot of sicknesses. Like it was a lot of things concerning this person's health that was wrong with this person. So I don't know if this person might pass away this week. If I'm asking, if you close to this person, my condolences. If you, you know, if this passing away, if this death is going to affect you, my condolences. But I just heard health. So that could be the issues that I picked up on. It's like a lot. So it could be somebody's health. Somebody had a lot of ailments or a lot of health conditions. So I don't know if this person might pass away this week. Or somebody might get healed or something of their ailments or something. But I don't know. I picked up on that energy. I said, that's crazy. So, this could even be a situation somebody could have been possessed with more than one spirit on them. Like, somebody could have had a legion of demons or something on them. That was, that energy I picked up on, I'm like, what? I was not expecting that. But, we gonna see. But, the good thing about that energy that I picked up on, it's gonna be, like, dealt with this week. It's going to be dealt with this week. All right. So, I had to shuffle um, some more of the, the decks that I'm using. So, let me go ahead and jump right in. So, for this week, reading for the display cards up here. Divine Master, I'm going to pull you a card from the, this Angel Among Us deck right here. And I'm going to pull you a message from the Kipper deck. And that's for the display cards. All right. What's Divine Master? What's going on with Divine Master this week? All right, we have St. Francis. Okay, so St. Francis. This, um, this uh, St. Francis um, aids in animal communication, activism, and service. So animal communication, activism, activism, and service. So divine master, you could be a pet lover. You could be a veterinarian. Divine master, you might um, rescue some animals or something from a fire, or somebody animal might save them from get somebody's pet might save them out of danger or something. So animal communication, activism, and um, service. Um, um, I can't get the name right now, but Divine Master, you could be a part of like, um, what do you call that organization, the organization, um, that help look with animals, like animal lovers, Divine Master, you could be a part of some sort of organization like that, something to do with, um, animal lovers. Animal activist. I just heard animal activist or something like that. All right. I also just heard too, Divine Master, for some of y'all, y'all might get a service animal this week. You might get a service animal this week. All right. Give me a message from the Divine Master. All right. So, concern came out. So, this is... The energy that I picked up on during the pre-shuffle, pre this card is all about somebody that's stressed out. Yeah, somebody stressed out. And these are master numbers. So this is number 22. That's a master number. And number 33, that's the master number. So number 22, you break that down. That's a four. So if I'm asking something might stabilize you this week, something to do with um animals. Or if I'm asking you're going to help an animal. And then we got 33. That's a 6. And my hands is ashy. <laughs> yeah, somebody concerned. Uh, this also reminds me, Divine Masculine. That's another message I picked up during the pre-shuffle. Divine Masculine. Somebody is like obsessed with you, but they're like envious of you. 
It's like divine mask when you being re responsible, you being who you are, it bothers this person. So divine mask, I don't think this is you, because I picked this energy up during a pre shuffle. Like somebody is like jealous. Um, divine mask, somebody could be jealous of your career. I just heard somebody could be jealous of your human human. What's the word? humanitarianism divine masculine somebody could be jealous of your humanitarianism so divine masculine you could be a humanitarian yeah divine masculine somebody don't like you <laughs> um they don't like your good qualities somebody don't like your good qualities divine masculine it bothers somebody it bothers someone that you're responsible you stay like on the straight and narrow. You mind your business. You try to do what's right. Um, that bothers someone. Somebody in your energy to my master. It bothers them. And I don't know why. But it could be this person right here. Somebody that's concerned. Somebody stressed out. Somebody is stressed. And then we got the spear. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if that come out during the reading too, cause I picked that up during the pre shuffle. Um, this person was trying to hide, but I saw them. I saw them and I felt them. Um, so if I'm asking, you might realize it this week that whoever this person is that's like envious of you or jealous of your good qualities. I picked up on this person's energy, and I I, I intuitively picked up if I'm asking that this person think they slick. They don't want you to know that they're, they feel some type of way about you. Because you do what's right. So, I'm a, I don't know. Um, Divine Masculine, I'm, I also just heard for some of y'all, it could be your father. Divine Masculine, I think your father, he probably didn't raise you. Or Divine Masculine, you could be the total opposite of your father. So it's like Divine Masculine, your father could be a thug. And it's like Divine Masculine, you you stay on the straight and narrow. You didn't choose that path. Your father could be a street man. And Divine Masculine, your father watches you. He watches you. And it bothers him. Divine Masculine, now that I'm picking up this energy that it could be your father... It's not too much of something for you to be um, threatened by. It could be guilt, Divine Masculine. Your father can't believe that you're thriving without him or you're successful without him. I also just heard Divine Masculine, if this energy is your father, he secretly feels unworthy because you're a, like a better man than him. I mean, he can't believe that you're his son because you're so good and innocent. And he's like the total opposite of you. It's like Divine Master, your father can't believe you're his son. So I don't know what type of lifestyle your father lives. But it could be your father too, Divine Master. If this energy is your father, somebody that's, that's concerned about you, it's not too much, nothing to be concerned about, Divine Master. I think you just make your father feel bad about himself um, or something like that. But if it's somebody else to buy mask, I don't know this person. So to buy mask, I don't know if your father could be a karmic to you. But I'm kind of picking up the energy. If I'm asking this person that's concerned about you, if it's your father... Something is mellow. I'm picking up something is mellow. So divine masculine, if in the past, if in the past divine masculine, your father used to make you feel guilty about doing what's right, he's going to stop this week and actually get convicted. He's going to get convicted and rebuked that he should actually fear you instead of trying to intimidate you. Yeah. Or your father should actually respect you instead of trying to intimidate you and try to convince you you got to be a bad boy or you got to be a tough guy or you got to be a criminal or whatever. 
yeah, something like that going on to my masculine with your father. This concern energy is going to be mellow out. It's going to be mellow out. <clears throat> yeah. Divine Masculine, if this concern energy is you, Divine Masculine, I don't know if something could be going on with your health. And you didn't want to accept, Divine Masculine, that you needed a service animal. So, Divine Masculine, you could be concerned about society or your health condition because you need a, a, a service animal. So, you could be stressed out about that. The fact that you even need a service animal. Or Divine Masculine, whatever your line of work is, whatever you do for service, um, some type of activist, you're, I'm hearing humanitarian, or you're an activist of some, some sort, it could involve animals. Divine Masculine, your job might be stressing you out this week. It's going to be very stressful. Yeah. To the point of depression, to a certain extent. Because this card could mean, um, like, stress to the point of depression. This is, like, bad stress. Somebody stressed out. That can also be to the point of, like, a nervous breakdown. That concern energy. So, let me go ahead. All right. Give me two messages for the Divine Masculine for this week. Okay. So, Twin Flame Mission. So, Divine Masculine, something going on this week concerning a twin flame mission or your twin flame mission? Give me one more for Divine Masculine. You will regret messing with the chosen one? Mm. So, that card came out for Divine Feminine as well. So, Divine Masculine, I'm going to clarify and see if that's you. Because, Divine Masculine, this could be your father. Like, your father is going to regret messing with you because you're a chosen one. You will regret messing with the chosen one. Is this message for Divine Masculine? Is Divine Masculine going to be the one that regrets messing with the chosen one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Divine Masculine. <laughs> divine Masculine, you might get rebuked this week for um, offending your Divine Feminine. So, you are a twin. Um, divine Masculine, you might uh, get rebuked for messing with doing something offensive to your Divine Feminine. Um, your divine feminine is a chosen one, divine divine masculine. Or divine masculine, you could have been messing around with another divine masculine's wife or divine feminine or something. So divine masculine, you might get. I, I also see too, divine masculine, you might get karma this week. So divine masculine, if you was messing with another divine masculine's girlfriend, wife, or divine feminine. Divine Masculine, whoever your woman is, she might cheat on you this week or she cheated on you in the past. And you might find out this week. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you could have slept with another Divine Masculine's uh, Divine Feminine. And you might get karma this week, Divine Masculine. Yeah. All right, so let me put two cards from this deck right here. This is the deck that I use for all things practical. So, Divine Master, I'm going to put two cards for you, and we're going to see what Spirit is suggesting for you to do practical this week that can make your life a little bit better or a little bit easier. So, give me two cards for Divine Master. Okay, so we have have fun again. Learn to Learn to love life again and try to enjoy life more by having fun. So, Divine Masculine, I heard that your Divine Feminine or your lover could have cheated on you this week or in the past because you never wanted to do nothing. You never you never used to like having fun, Divine Masculine, for whatever reason. Or, Divine Masculine, you could be like chronically diagnosed like with depression or something. And Divine Masculine, you don't like the new you don't like to do nothing. So maybe your lover or your divine feminine could have cheated on you. So it's like divine masculine. I'm hearing spirits say, if you really care for this woman, 
Divine Masculine, get yourself together. You have to fix this. Because she only cheated on you, Divine Masculine, because you wasn't having fun. You wasn't doing nothing. So it's not like this woman don't love you. It's, it's not the fact that she don't have self-control. Divine Masculine, it's like you gave this woman no choice. The relationship was very dull. Y'all can be young, Divine Masculine. You have to spark it up if you want to save this relationship. And it could be your twin flame mission. Learn to love life again and try to enjoy life more by having fun. So, Divine Master, maybe you work too much. Maybe your enjoyment is work. And you maybe, maybe you put your love life on a back burner or you put your Divine Feminine on a back burner. Yeah, or something like that. So, Divine Master, I'm picking up two. What gave you enjoyment, Divine Masculine, did not bring enjoyment for your Divine Feminine. So, what you might have to do this week, Divine Masculine, if you want to save your relationship, you might have to sacrifice and do something that your Divine Feminine want to do that you, that you don't necessarily like doing. Because this card is telling me it's not like you don't have fun or you don't enjoy life. It's just saying enjoy life more by having fun. So, Divine Masculine, you and your Divine Feminine can have different um, hobbies or what you guys do for entertainment. So, this week, Divine Masculine, you might have to learn to sacrifice to save your, to save your relationship. Divine Masculine, you might have to do something that your Divine Feminine wants to do. Or, Divine Masculine, you just need to have fun. Whether you single or you're in union with your Divine Feminine. Divine Master Spirit is telling you to have fun. I'm also hearing too, Divine Master, if you have a disability or an ailment, have fun this week, Divine Master. In spite of your Debbie Downer, you could be having a pity party, something to do with an ailment or disability or something, Divine Master. Still have fun. Divine Master, you can still find ways to have fun. Give me one more practical that spirit want divine masculine to do. Yeah, have a relaxing bath. Have a relaxing bath. Adding bath salts or lighting candles can help you restore yourself. So divine masculine, I'm picking up you either work a lot. And or Divine Masculine, you could be suffering from depression. Yeah, and Divine Masculine, Spirit wants you to have fun again and to have a relaxing bath this week. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you need to relax. Have fun and relax. So it's like, Divine Masculine, what are you doing? What, what do you do every day? What are you doing? The cards is telling me you're not having fun and you need to relax. So, again, Divine Masculine, you either work, I mean, you work all the time. And or, Divine Masculine, you suffer from depression. And Spirit wants you to shake that a little bit as best you can this week. Yeah, have fun again and have a relaxing bath. Adding bath salts or lighting candles can help you restore yourself. Divine Masculine, it says a bath. And Divine Masculine, I picked this energy up like last week, but I didn't say nothing. But it's coming out. I picked that energy up and, and I heard Spirit clearly. I heard Spirit clear, clearly told me to mention that. I heard Spirit say, tell Divine Masculine he needs to get in the tub, a bath, not a shower. Tell Divine Masculine he needs to take a bath. Sit in the tub. So for this card to be coming out this week, I'm, I'm saying it. Because it, it kind of slipped my mind. And when Spirit told me that, I wasn't thinking about tarot. So it threw me for a loop. 
because usually I get messages when I'm getting ready to tap in. But I was doing something like in my personal life, minding my business, I was cleaning up my room and I heard spirit clearly say, tell divine masculine, he needs to take a bath, sit in the tub. And I'm like, oh, okay. But it slipped my mind, I had forgot. So it came out. So divine masculine, spirit don't want you to take a shower this week, he wants you to sit in a tub full of water, take a bath, sit in the tub. Adding bath salts or lighting candles can help you restore yourself. If I'm asking you, need, there's a need for you to be restored. And it has nothing to do with you being feminine or you not being masculine. It's just a part of being human. You need to be restored to my masculine and spirit is telling you to take a bath to help restore you. And I heard, no, not no shower, not this week. A bath, sit in a bathtub or a jacuzzi or something. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I'm about to use this deck right here. So if I'm asking, I'm going to pull two cards from this deck to see what you can expect concerning love and romance this week. So let me let me pull the two cards for you. Divine Masculine, what you can expect in love and romance this week. What can Divine Masculine expect in love and romance this week? Okay, trust. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. So, Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, Divine Masculine, you're very soft spoken. Um, you're like submissive. You're very soft sp spoken. Um, divine masculine, you're just simple. You humble. You're very simple. You're a quiet person. You have a lover or your divine feminine and divine masculine this week. You're going to find out that your divine feminine cheated on you. Um, but divine masculine, I heard your divine feminine is not going to cheat on you again. If you get yourself together. She really cheated on you, Divine Masculine, to actually get your attention or to save herself. I just heard that. She cheated on you, Divine Masculine, to either get your attention or she cheated on you to save herself. Um, so, Divine Masculine, there's a need for you to sacrifice something for your Divine Feminine this week. She didn't cheat on you, Divine Masculine, because she's promiscuous. She didn't cheat on you because she's a karmic. She cheated on you for a reason, Divine Masculine. Um, and your Divine Feminine is trustworthy. But she felt the need. She had to save herself. So Divine Masculine, I don't know what you wasn't doing for her. And she wanted to feel human again. So it could have been having fun. Divine Masculine, you probably don't do nothing. You go to work and go home. So I don't know if your divine feminine could have been flirting and she could have snuck off with a masculine to have fun and ended up having sex with him because she just wanted to have fun or something. But divine masculine, I'm picking up in this trust energy. If you change divine masculine or if you sacrifice something for your divine feminine, she's not going to cheat on you. Or she don't love this man. Whoever she cheated on you with. Divine Masculine, this man is not a threat. She, again, I'm hearing it again. Your Divine Feminine only cheated on you to get your, to get your attention, Divine Masculine. Or she did it because she felt as though she had to save herself. So, Divine Masculine, it is safe to trust in this situation. So, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might tell you she's sorry and... She's not going to do it again. If you would just get better. Um, yeah. And Divine Masculine, you can trust what she's saying to you. Because she's the Divine Feminine. You can trust what she's telling you. So Divine Masculine, concerning love and romance, it is safe to trust in this situation. So Divine Masculine, I don't know if your Divine Feminine just might sit you down and confess to you that she cheated on you. And she probably going to tell you, I'm telling you because 
I didn't want to cheat on you. I don't want to cheat on you. I want you to get better. I want you to love me. I want to be normal. I want to feel normal. I want you to go get help. Or something like that, your divine feminine could be telling you. So divine masculine, you might not trust your divine feminine. What she's saying? So divine masculine, I don't know if you don't believe your divine feminine when she say that she don't love this man, she loves you. But you can trust whatever she's telling you. You can trust it or something. It is safe to trust in this situation concerning love and romance, divine feminine, divine masculine. Or divine masculine, your divine feminine is trying to get you to tell her what's wrong with you, what's going on. So divine masculine, you can trust your divine feminine. Tell her, open up to her. You could be vulnerable around her, tell her. So divine masculine, I don't know. You could have an ailment. You could have been clinically diagnosed as depressed, bipolar, um, and you didn't want to tell her, Divine Masculine. But Spirit is saying that you can trust in this situation. All right. Give me one more for Divine Masculine. Yeah, acceptance. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. See? Divine Masculine. So Divine Masculine, concerning love and romance, what you can expect this week is to trust somebody or trust the situation. Or divine masculine, you can expect to accept something that everything happens for a reason. Divine masculine, I also picked up too for some of y'all. Divine masculine, you could be very controlling, or you're very paranoid, or you're like insecure. Divine masculine, your divine feminine might run you some bath water. She might put some salt, candles, you know, when you get off of work. And Divine Masculine, you're not going to like it or for whatever reason, you... Divine Masculine, I don't know if you feel as though your Divine Feminine is trying to control you because she ran you some bath water. Or she's trying to convert you to be into the occult or... I don't know what you're thinking, Divine Masculine. I don't know why you could be offensive to this. But Spirit is telling you to accept it. Or Divine Masculine, you can be intimidated that your Divine Feminine is intuitive. So Divine Masculine, say like, for example, you at work this week and you like, dang, I really wish I had a bath. I need a bath when I get home. I'm running me a bath water. I need a bath. And it's like Divine Masculine, when you get home, your Divine Feminine gonna have that bath water running and it might scare you. Because it's like, it scared you because it's intuition. Or it's like Divine Masculine, this is really your Divine Feminine. Like, the most I put this woman in your life to help you. She's your help. She's, she helps you. So it's like Divine Masculine, you might have to accept something that everything happened for a reason. So this is either your lover cheating on you, or this is your lover helping you. In some type of way that could be very intuitive. And Divine Masculine, you might be a little bit intimidated by it a little bit. Or you don't trust it because it's intuition. But everything happens for a reason, Divine Masculine. Yeah. Or Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine could have already told you last week. Spirit told me, I'm a ter I'm the terror reader. I'm whatever spirit already told me last week to tell you last week divine masculine but i didn't but what could have happened last week was divine masculine your divine feminine told you so it's like you could be watching this reading this video and you are you hear me telling you that spirit said for you to take a bath and divine masculine you gonna be like my divine feminine just told me that last week so everything happens for a reason yeah, so Divine Masculine, I don't know, you could have been thinking your Divine Feminine crazy, or you don't trust your Divine Feminine. So it's like, me saying that Spirit also told me to tell you to take a bath is just a confirmation, Divine Masculine, that your Divine Feminine is intuitive as well, and that you can trust her. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. Let me go on to the um the 
the the tarot. Divine Masculine, I also just heard too, and I felt it. Divine Masculine, you could be missing fingers. Like something's going on with your hands. I don't know if you could be missing like your limbs or like your fingers or something. You need help with something. Something to do with your fingers or your hands. You could have lost fingers in the past, Divine Masculine. Or something like that. All right, what's going on with Divine Masculine this week? What do Divine Masculine need to know? What's going on with Divine Masculine? Yeah, the Magician. And this, the Magician is masculine energy as well. So, Divine Masculine, what I just heard is... <laughs> Divine Masculine, something going on with you and... I don't... It's something to do with you, you being a man or your masculinity. But the magician came out. And this is masculine. So the white masculine is something going on with you. So the white masculine, I don't know if you, you're not comfortable with your divine feminine intuition. Because you feel as though intuition is feminine. So you don't want nothing to do with that or something like that. Or you don't want to talk. I just heard that too. Divine Masculine, you don't want to talk. You just want to do. So Divine Masculine, you don't want to talk about something. You just want to do something. But Divine Masculine, what I just heard was in order to be the magician, you have to talk. Because the sword, you can't be the magician without all four elements. You cannot manifest without all four elements. So Divine Masculine, the sword could be communication. You have to talk. I just heard you have to talk or say something. You have to either talk or say something. But Divine Masculine, I heard you don't want to talk. But the magician talks and the magician is masculine. This is real, very masculine energy. Like take charge, a leader. Yeah, the sword. The sword is communication. <clears throat> so divine masculine. Spirit just told me the magician is masculine and the magician, he talks. Yeah, that sword. I just heard divine masculine. You don't got to keep talking, but you're going to have to say something. You don't have to keep talking, but you have to say something. Yeah, I just heard that. Yeah, we got the fool. So divine mask. Oh yeah, so we got Virgo or Gemini. So divine mask. You or somebody else could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Then we got the fool. Somebody could be an Aries or an Aquarius. So divine mask. You might take a leap of faith this this week and do something. It, and it could be tell somebody something or have a conversation. Or to, you, divine mask. You might tell the truth or be honest about something. Yeah, we got the lovers. So somebody could definitely be a Gemini. Or. <laughs> Divine Masculine, your twin could be uh, Aries, uh, in Aquarius, or Gemini. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might take a leap of faith and force you to be the magician. Or Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might take a leap of faith and approach you about something. And Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is very smart. I see it in the cards. Or, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is going to do something this week to encourage you. And you're going to be able to perform, or you're going to be encouraged um, 
that you're capable of doing something. So divine masculine, I'm also hearing your divine feminine is like going to be your your chair your chair leader this week. She's going to encourage you that something is going to be okay. You're capable of doing something. She still loves you. She's by your side no matter what. So it's like divine masculine, you're going to be the magician. Whatever you felt insecure about, your divine feminine is going to encourage you and give you the strength to perform. Or do something. I don't know if y'all could be trying to get pregnant or something, divine masculine. I also see in the cards too, divine masculine, your twin is separating from you to come towards you. Or divine masculine, your twin is separating from you to show you how capable you are. Divine masculine, I don't know why I'm picking up your divine feminine. She's very smart and she has wisdom. If I don't <clears throat> divine masculine. If your divine feminine She's either in general a wise person or divine feminine or divine masculine. This week, your divine feminine know intuitively exactly what to say and what to do to get you to do something. Or to cause you to be successful. Or cause your relationship to be successful. Again, divine masculine, your divine feminine, she could be a Gemini, an Aries, or an Aquarius. And Divine Masculine, you could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Or your Divine Feminine has those signs in her chart. Gemini, Aries, or an Aquarius. Somebody's making a wise decision this week. Or Divine Masculine, your twin is around. So I'm, Divine Masculine, I don't know if you could be married to your Divine Feminine. Y'all could probably already be married. Don't necessarily have to be. But somebody's making a wise decision this week. I also see two in the cards. Divine Masculine in the past. Somebody left their twin behind. Or somebody else's twin was messing with another twin's twin. I see that too. It's two set of twins out here and somebody's twin was messing with somebody else's twin. And somebody might get karma for that this week. Yeah. So clarify the magician. Yeah, we got the chariot. All these major arcanas. What the hell? So divine masculine, you or somebody else could be a cancer. Somebody wants to manifest success. Somebody wants to manifest a car. Somebody could be going to school to become a cop. Divine masculine. Somebody could be training a, like a canine dog or something. A cop could be training a canine. Or divine masculine, the service animal that you might get this week, this animal came from like a police station or something. This animal used to be a cop's dog, a canine for like for the for the police. So divine masculine, this service animal that you get this week, he's coming from a good place. He's yeah, it, this dog used to be a canine like for the cops. I see that too. Yeah, your service animal by masking could be a canine. Or somebody is like a cop and they're training a canine or something. Ooh. Oh, somebody also wants to overcome some obstacles. Divine Masculine, you probably want to save your relationship, your twin flame relationship. Y'all want to work on it. You want to save it. The chariot could be a, a, a car of war. Someone who's determined to overcome obstacles. 
Somebody is determined to overcome obstacles. The chariot, the chariot will run over any and everything that stands in its way. Whatever the chariot wants, the chariot is going to get it. The chariot is going. So somebody probably wants to willingly forgive a lover for cheating. Somebody wants to learn their lover's love language. Someone is willing to sacrifice the chariot. Let's do what we got to do to save this relationship. Okay. All right. Let's do what we got to do. The magician and the chariot. All right. What you want me to do? You want me to take you to the fair every week? You want to do this? You want to do that? I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. Something like that. You want to have fun? You want to do this? I'll do it. I'm willing to do it. So, the Divine Master, you could be going to marriage counseling this week with your twin. Clarify the food. Yeah, the five of cups. Yeah. So, the Divine Master, you or somebody else could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio. I also heard, too, that this concern card could be the third party. Somebody cheated on somebody in the past and or this week. And, some, and, one, and somebody might confess. And this is the third party right here. So, for example, Divine Masculine, say like, yo, Divine Feminine, come and confess to you this week that she cheated on you with so-and-so down the street. It's like Divine Masculine, so-and-so down the street already know that your Divine Feminine going to tell you this week. And he concerned. Because he want to know how you going to respond, what he, what he, yeah. This could be somebody's third party. Yeah. Because somebody's divine feminine, divine masculine, your divine feminine told this man that she no longer wants to cheat with him. Or she told him that she's going to tell you the truth this week. And this man is concerned. Yeah. Yeah, somebody regrets something that they did in the past. Or somebody is like going to have a good cry before they confess something. So Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. And she's going to have a good cry, Divine Masculine, before she come and tell you the truth that she could have cheated on you or something. Or divine masculine. Divine masculine, your divine feminine, she really care about you. And she cry for you. She be crying for you, divine masculine. Because she wants you to get better. She wants you to see that she loves you. She don't want to cheat on you. She wants you, divine masculine, whatever your issue is, it could be a health issue. Um it could be depression. You work all the time. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, she cries for you. Because she don't want to lose you. She wants your relationship to work. Yeah, something like that. Or Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might leave you this week as well. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might leave you this week. Yeah, and Divine Masculine, she cried before she made her final decision. Yeah. And divine masculine, um when somebody leave you, it, it doesn't have to be physically. But divine masculine, your divine feminine is gonna leave you. So divine masculine, if your divine feminine made a promise to you in the past, she's gonna break her pro promise this week. She's going to break her promise. But Divine Masculine, I'm kind of picking up. You left her no choice because y'all human. Y'all human. People can make promises. We can make promises with the best intentions. But sometimes life just weighs us down. And we cannot keep a promise because we're human. So Divine Masculine, I don't know if you and your Divine Feminine could have got married in the past. And y'all made y'all vows. 
Divine Masculine, you could be sick or something going on with you and you're making life unbearable for your Divine Feminine. So that part in y'all marriage, vow, marriage vows, when it say through sickness and health, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might leave you this week because you could be very grouchy or mean to her because of your ailments. And she's trying to fulfill her vows, Divine Masculine, but you won't let her. You will not let her. And she's human. So she might break this week. She gonna break. Divine Masculine, she gonna leave you. So it could be emotionally, mentally, physically. Yeah, something like that going on. Or it happened in the past. Clarify the lovers. Yeah, the seven of cups. Um, we got more water. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So somebody could be um. Somebody could have be, somebody could be a water sign. Their moon is water. Divine masculine, you or your divine feminine. Somebody's moon sign is water. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, yeah, it's definitely a third party situation in the past or this week. Yeah. Somebody definitely cheated on somebody, but they cheated with a with a uh, divine feminine or divine masculine. It wasn't a karmic. A twin cheated on their twin with another twin, and that's why all these major arcanas is here. Yeah, a twin cheated on a twin with a twin this week or in the past. Yeah. It's a third party situation in love. And somebody might confess or something. What's the spill with the magician and the chariot? The sixth house. What someone does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills, and training, their employment. Yeah. So, Divine Masculine, you could be, um, this is about somebody's uh, training, employment. So somebody could be training a canine or divine masculine. You a dog trainer or you breed dogs, divine masculine. Or divine masculine, you're going to school to be a cop or something. That's what you're going to school for, the magician and the, and the chariot. I also just heard divine masculine, you could be in the middle of going to school and it's like this week, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine picked the perfect time to tell you she cheated on you. And you, I don't know if you was like in the process of um about to take like your final exam or something, Divine Masculine. Or somebody's going to cheat on somebody before they, they take like a final exam or something for a job or something like that. But somebody did something out of wisdom, though. Or somebody did something on purpose. What someone does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills and training, their employment. Divine Masculine, you could be an occultist or your Divine Feminine could be an occultist. So Divine Masculine, you could be... What I just heard, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine knows how to encourage you. She knows how to help you. I'm hearing Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is your Divine Feminine because of her sixth house. And she gives you her sixth house. 
So you're the magician in the chariot this week, Divine Masculine, because of your Divine Feminine sixth house. So she know what to say to you. It could be because of what she does routinely. Her skills, her training, and her employment. So Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, she could be a tarot reader. She could be an occultist. She could be a wife. She could be your Divine Feminine. She could be a nurse. Divine Masculine, you the magician and the chariot this week because of your Divine Feminine Sixth House. Or you're ready to the you're ready to overcome something because of your sixth house or your divine feminine sixth house placement. Or divine masculine, you a cop or something. Or you going to school to be a cop. Yep, and you could be. I don't know, working with dogs or something this week. Yeah, Virgo. The sixth house is Virgo. So somebody is definitely a Virgo. Sixth house is Virgo. The magician is Virgo. Somebody knows how to manifest a victory. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, she could be a Virgo. Or Divine Masculine, you need a car or something. Or something. I also just heard somebody might... Somebody don't have a car. And somebody's going to help somebody solve a problem. Divine Masculine, say like for whatever reason this week, you don't have a car. It's like Divine Masculine. What your Divine Feminine or somebody else might do is they're going to drive their company's car to wherever you got to go. So Divine Masculine, somebody might do something risky for you this week or do you a favor. So Divine Masculine, I don't know if somebody could have a cop friend. And Divine Masculine, you need to ride somewhere. And the police going to bring you where you got to go because you don't have a car. So somebody could be a cop or something. Or this it's like somebody could be in, in, in a veterinarian car. Somebody could be a vet and somebody need a ride. So they're gonna take the company's car to do somebody's to do somebody a favor and 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 give somebody a ride in their company's car. I see that too. Cause somebody wants to overcome something. Somebody wants a victory and they have to be at this place. They have to be at this appointment. So, I don't know what this is. Somebody kind of like taking a risk to do something that might get them fired or something. <laughs> What's the spell with the fool and the fiber cut? Daydreaming of you. I don't know if somebody cheated with somebody, with somebody at work, or somebody had sex with somebody inside the company's car. <laughs> oh, God. Someone cannot get you off their mind, attracted to you, constantly thinks of, thinks of being with you romantically. I also see, too... Divine Masculine, you or your twin? I already said that, so I ain't going to say that no more. I already said that. Um, but Divine Masculine, someone can't get you off their mind. Attracted to you constantly thinks of being with you emotionally. So this week on the past, somebody took a leap of faith towards somebody that they was daydreaming of. Somebody could have had sex with somebody while they were on the job as well.
Somebody could have got fired because they, they, they got caught having sex on the job. Somebody could have got fired this week on the past because somebody was having sex with somebody on the job. Or somebody was sleeping with somebody that they wasn't and they could have got caught. Or somebody creeps around at work. So, Divine Masculine, if this is your Divine Feminine confessing to you, she might tell you that she messes with this man while she's at work or while you're at work. That's when she sleeps with this man or when she was cheating on you. So, Divine Masculine, I'm also picking up you wasn't having sex with your Divine Feminine. It's like Divine Masculine, she was daydreaming of you, but she five cups. It's like Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine was daydreaming about you while you was at work. And she ended up five cups because she could have cheated on you. Because Divine Masculine, you work all the time and you don't have sex with your Divine Feminine. Or something like that. What's the spill with the lovers and the seven of cups? Somebody twin had options in love. Or somebody made a wise decision to have options in love. So Divine Masculine, maybe your Divine Feminine know the only way to get your attention is to cheat on you. Or something like that. Somebody had a wise decision to um, have options in love. It was a wise decision. Or Divine Masculine, I don't know if your Divine Feminine was trying to make you jealous. And she might tell you that she wasn't cheating on you. She just wanted to make you jealous to get your attention. So somebody made a wise decision to either keep their options open, open in love or to cause an illusion. This could also be an illusion that your divine feminine did or something. Something like that. What's the story with the lovers and the seven of cups? Yeah, digging for gold. Marrying for money, not love. Wanting to spend all of their partner's cash. Gets into relationships for material things. So Divine Masculine, I think in the past, your Divine Feminine cheated on you. She had options in love. But I think Divine Masculine, whoever your Divine Feminine cheated with, he was a gold digger. Or, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine was only using this man for money. It wasn't love. So, somebody's third party was a gold digger. Or, somebody was holding on to a third party for money. So, it's like, Divine Masculine, you or your Divine Feminine had a third party in the past. But, it was all about the money. Or something like that. I also just heard too, Divine Masculine, this week you and your Divine Feminine gonna have makeup sex. And y'all might have makeup sex like in somebody's work vehicle or it's at somebody's job or something. Yep. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that going on. But let me move on. <laughs> All right. What's the issue going on out here? What is the issue? No chemistry. Yeah. Lack of chemistry missing the spark. Yeah, I think this concern right here is the third party. Divine Masculine, I hope your Divine Feminine wasn't messing around with your father. Ooh, I hope she didn't do that. Mm, Lord, bless her, Jesus. <laughs> but Divine Masculine, if your Divine Feminine was messed around with your father, let me be quiet. I, I think she do feel bad, but who we... Um... But whoever is in this concern energy, I think this is the issue right here. I think this is the issue. The third party, somebody's twin really didn't have like no chemistry with the third party. 
and the third party is concerned because there's no chemistry. <laughs> or, or divine master, your father is a, like a pimp. He not really a pimp, but divine masculine i don't know what the hell is wrong with your divine feminine but it's like divine masculine your divine feminine was messing with your father <laughs> because she was really looking for love but it's like divine feminine divine masculine your father feel guilty <laughs> Divine masculine, your father felt guilty because he didn't really love your divine feminine. <laughs> so it's like divine masculine, your father might send your divine feminine back to you broken. Like she she kind of even worse off than oh my god. <laughs> divine feminine, maybe your divine masculine. Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, your Divine Feminine, she's awakened and she's a wise woman. She's smart. Another group of y'all, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, she's not awakened. And Divine Masculine, you're going to have to let your Divine Feminine go this week. Because you might find out she was messing around with your father. And Divine Masculine, what your Divine Feminine couldn't get from you, your Divine Feminine really wanted love. Or she wanted to have sex or something. But... Oh my God. Divine Masculine, you're Divine Feminine. She's, I mean, this woman needs deliverance. This woman, she's lost. She needs help. She's like broken in every way possible. And Divine Masculine, this woman was sleeping with your father. And Divine Masculine, this woman so broken, even your father feel bad for playing with her. Because that's what your, your father was playing with her, Divine Masculine. And I, I don't know, Divine Masculine, if your Divine Feminine thought she was literally going to get your father to love her, or she literally thought she was going to get money from your father. But somebody, Divine Feminine, it's a group of y'all, one group of y'all, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, she's awakened and she's very smart and she's going to actually help you out this week. This can even be sex. Divine masculine, you probably need a sex and your whatever. Your divine feminine know what to do. So you're gonna be the magician in the chariot this week. Um for other you guys, divine masculine, your divine feminine, she, uh uh, something wrong with her. She's very broken, she's not awakened. And this is the issue. So it's like divine masculine, you wasn't giving your divine feminine what she wanted. She went to your father, he wasn't giving it to her. So that's the issue. It's no chemistry. Lack of chemistry missing the spark. Divine Masculine, for some of y'all, y'all gonna have to let go of your Divine Feminine this week. Because she's just... She's just a disgrace. At this moment, she's not awake yet. And this woman all over the place. Um, Divine Masculine, you can't fix her. You can't... This woman gonna have to go through a dark night of the soul. Oh my God, this woman... And it's like divine, oh man. Divine masculine, I don't know if you knew that your divine feminine was messing around with your father. And this woman got the nerve to think that she, your unawakened divine feminine, she thinks that if she sleep with you that it'll make the problem go away. She, somebody divine feminine not awakened. Oh my gosh. What's the, um, what, split up beans with the magician, the chariot, and the sixth house. Yeah, a movie date, yeah. Somebody could also work at the movies. Um. Or somebody's going to drive their company car to the movies to make up with their divine feminine. 
somebody might like go on a lunch break or something and take their divine feminine to the movies or something. But they might do it in a company's car or something. Or, or divine masculine, you might you might take your service dog on a date with you with your divine feminine. So I'm hearing divine masculine. It might be your first encounter out in public with your service animal, and your divine feminine might be with you, and she might not be. Or divine masculine, you're going to like. Tell your divine feminine on this movie date about your service animal or something and your health condition or something. Or something like that. Or divine masculine, whatever you do for work, you didn't want to tell your divine feminine, but you might tell her while you're out on a date. Divine masculine. <laughs> Divine masculine, you were either posing as a cop and you're not a cop. You could be like a veterinarian. <laughs> well, I don't know, Divine masculine. If you wanted your Divine feminine to think that you was like a thug, Divine masculine, you was either telling this woman, you was making this woman think you was a thug or you work for the police. But you really a veterinarian? You didn't want this woman to know what you do for, for work? You wanted her to think that you was like a thug or a bad boy? Or you want to... Oh. I also think, Divine Masculine, you might tell on yourself by accident. So, Divine Masculine, if you was telling this female that you a cop, it's like Divine Masculine, if you a veterinarian, you like going to go pick up your Divine Feminine in like your, your, your company's car. It's a veterinarian truck. And you was telling this Divine Feminine that you a cop. So you, <laughs> you might tell on yourself by an accident or something. Or... Divine Masculine, you was trying to be something you wasn't because your Divine Feminine was messing with your father. And you wanted your Divine Feminine to think that you was just like your father, but you're not. So Divine Masculine, either your father is a cop or your father is a bad boy. And Divine Masculine, you was telling I, I, something like that going on. Oh, Divine Masculine, I don't know what in the world you was doing. Some of this stuff I see on this board, Divine Masculine, some of this was kind of like unnecessary a little bit. Divine Masculine, either your Divine Feminine was messing with your father or you assumed she was messing with your father. You thought your Divine Feminine was messing with your father, Divine Masculine? Or you're intimidated by your father so you don't let your father around your Divine Feminine? Or Divine Masculine, you a cop, but I don't know if you was telling your Divine Feminine that you a, a veterinarian? I don't know. Let me just keep going. There's so many scenarios. What's the spill with the fool, this five of cups, and daydreaming of you? Yeah, a crush. Oh. Divine 
and from that, I don't, Divine Master, I don't know if you could have been dating your father's, oh my God, Divine Master, I don't know if in the past you could have slept around with your father's uh, wife or one of his lovers. And Divine Master, your father going to get you back. He gonna get revenge or something. <laughs> um, this crush energy, divine masculine. Somebody got a crush on you, so I don't know in the past, divine masculine, if your one of your father's lovers in the past had a crush on you. Or divine masculine, your divine feminine, whoever her third party was, is is just a crush. Your divine feminine had a crush on him. Or something. Somebody had a crush on somebody. This is also my card for like a newborn baby. So do I master? I don't know. Somebody probably want to get pregnant by you too. Somebody could be daydreaming about having your baby, Divine Master. What's the spill with the lovers, the seven of cups, and digging for gold? Yeah, destroy, shatter, broken, effed up. Yeah. Somebody might confess this week about something that happened in the past. So, divine masculine, what also could have happened was your divine feminine could have did this to you on purpose. She probably wanted you to think that she liked it, your father. Because divine masculine, your divine feminine know that you have issues with your father. So she could have just been teasing you or trying to make you jealous. So whatever somebody did in the past is being destroyed. It's shattered, it's broken, or the situation is or was effed up. The lovers with the seven of cups and gold digger, this is past energy. So whatever happened in the past or whatever was going what was going on in the past is being destroyed. Somebody is done with the third party. Somebody is done with lying, causing illusions. It's like somebody's coming forth and telling the truth or confessing something. Because whatever happened in the past is destroyed. Somebody's lover having options in love. It could be destroyed. Divine masculine, if your divine feminine was cheating on you, it's going to come to an end this week. It's destroyed. That part of your divine feminine is no more. Divine masculine, your divine feminine don't want her third party. She wants you. Or, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is not awakened and she's destroyed. She's broken, she's shattered, she's effed up this week because of something she did in the past. She could have been having options in love. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine could have slept with your father. She's broken. Divine Masculine, if your Divine Feminine not awakened, you might get rid of her this week. Divine Masculine, I don't know if your Divine Feminine might pass away. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might pass away at your father's house. And it's like Divine Masculine, your, divine, your father trying to figure out how he going to tell you. Yeah, Divine Masculine, for some of y'all, your Divine Feminine might pass away. If, she, if she's not awakened. This woman is broken. She's broken. Divine Masculine, your father might come and tell you some bad news. You're either at work or you're on a date with another woman. And your father going to call you Divine Masculine and give you this bad news about something that happened to your Divine Feminine. And she's either going to pass away or she might have a nervous breakdown.
Or the Vimax Plus. You could work at the movies or something like that. What's the tea with the magician, the chariot, the sixth house, and movie gate? Yeah, idol. Love, respect, and admire, idolized a fan. Yeah, divine masculine. For those of you guys who your divine feminine, she's awakened. Divine masculine, the T is your divine feminine. She idolizes you. She loves you. She respects you. She admires you. She, I said she's going to be your cheerleader this week, divine masculine. So, divine masculine, this could be a situation where you could have got demoted in life, divine masculine, because um, of an injury. So, it's like divine masculine, you... Divine Masculine, it could be a situation to where you could have, maybe in the past, Divine Masculine, you used to be a cop, but something happened to you, and it's like, now you work at the movies. So you went from being a cop to you work at the movies. But it's like, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is like, she still idolizes you, or something like that. Or it could be re a retired cop out here. Divine Masculine, I don't know if your father work at the movies. And he might catch your Divine Feminine cheating on you. Because she's at the movies where your father work at. <laughs> or something. Something going on like that. But that's the tea. Divine Masculine... Whatever you do for work, Divine Masculine, I think your Divine Feminine don't care. And she respects, she's, she respects you, Divine Masculine. You're loved, you're respected, you're admired. You have a fan, Divine Masculine, regardless of your sixth house. So, Divine Masculine, if your Divine Feminine is awakened, she don't care what you do for work. Or she's not ashamed of what you do for her. Divine Masculine, you was the one that was ashamed, not her. So you might tell the truth, Divine Masculine, to your Divine Feminine this week, what you do for work. And she's still going to love you the same. Or something like that. Or the cards could be telling me too, Divine Masculine, you're going to make it your sixth house to bring your Divine Feminine out on dates. So it could be telling me you're going to do this routinely. It's going to become a part of your responsibility. You're going to do this like a job. It's going to become a job for you to take your, your Divine Feminine out on dates, to do something fun with her. Because you want to be the chariot. You want to over, overcome a problem. You don't want your Divine Feminine to cheat on you. You don't want, yeah, something like that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What's the tea? What's the tea with the fool? The five of cups, daydreaming of you and crush. Somebody might also get an abortion this week too, because um, somebody don't know who the who the who the who the father is, or something like that. Divine, oh my god. I don't even want to pick up on this energy. Oh my gosh. I'm not. Mm -mm. What's the tea with this? The full five of cups crush and daydreaming of you. Yeah, and offer. Divine masculine, your divine feminine probably want to have a baby too, and you don't want to. Divine masculine, your divine feminine probably don't have kids. <laughs> and divine masculine, your divine feminine is willing to leave you 
and get pregnant by somebody that's willing to impregnate her because she want kids. So Divine Masculine, you might have to make a sacrifice because your, your Divine Feminine could have emotional regrets and losses because you won't give her a baby. And this is my car for a newborn baby. Yes, yeah, it's something to do with an offer. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine want to have sex. But it's like Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Your Divine Feminine about to lose her mind, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is either tired of your insecurities or Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine want a baby. And um, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is making you an offer because she want to have sex with you because she want a baby. She wants a baby. <laughs> and Divine Masculine, if you, <laughs> if you don't give your Divine Feminine what she wants, Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine might, um, she already knows she, she, uh-uh. Because it's like Divine Masculine, I just heard your Divine Feminine say, I gave you everything and you give you gave me nothing. I give you everything and you give me nothing. I just heard her say that. Divine Masculine, if you don't give your Divine Feminine what she want this week, your Divine Feminine already made up in her mind she's leaving you. So she already five cups, Divine Masculine. Your Divine Feminine crying before she call you. Because Divine Masculine, if you don't tell your Divine Feminine what she wants to hear, she's going to leave you. And this can even be a divorce. She leaving. Divine Masculine, if your Divine Feminine is awakened and she's like fed up with you, she might get in touch with your father. That's how fed up she is. She going to call your father and tell your father. That she's either about to leave you or she's about to divorce you. Because she's tired of you being selfish. I also heard <laughs> Divine Masculine, your, your, your Divine Feminine say, He puts animals before me. An animal. He treats his animals better than me. An animal. So who am I? What am I? I have to wait because of animals. <laughs> yeah, divine masculine, your divine feminine gonna leave you. Uh, something like that. Or divine masculine, you don't want to get your divine feminine pregnant because you work at the movies. And you feel <laughs> you feel as though that's not enough to raise a family. <laughs> uh, something like that. What's the tea with the lovers, the seven of cups, destroy and digging for gold? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, fake smile. Somebody was being fake in the past. Yeah, for some of y'all, fake accounts and dirty offer. Divine Masculine, I also see in the cards that in the past, you was with a Divine Feminine, but she wasn't awakened. Divine Masculine, in the present, you're with a Divine Feminine and she's awakened. Divine Masculine, you're going to get news that your ex, which is a Divine Feminine, she's not awakened. She could have passed away. She might pass away, Divine Masculine. And it might be your father who called and tell you. Or, it's like Divine Masculine, you could have broke up with your ex, which is this Divine Feminine who's not awakened. And Divine Masculine, when you broke up with this Divine Feminine who's not awakened... She went and got into a relationship with your father. And they was living together. But Divine Masculine, I don't know if your father is going to hurt this woman. Or she might just pass away or something. And your father going to call you and tell you. Yeah, something like that. But Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, she, she a trip. She was messing with your father, dating your father. She could have been living with your father, trying to marry your father. She was a gold digger. She fake, making fake accounts, dirty offer. Yeah, Divine Masculine, I think you're a Divine Feminine who wasn't awakened. She was like dating your father, but she was harassing you. It's like she was still in love with you. She was with your father, 
but she was still in love with you, making you dirty offers with these fake accounts. Yeah, something. Or if I ask you, you was dating a Gemini, a Gemini or a water sign in the past. Um, your past lover or your ex divine masculine she was either your divine feminine and she's not awake yet or this woman is a karmic and she's either a gemini or a water sign a pisces cancer or scorpio divine masculine your current lover could be an aries or a, a aquarius or a water sign <coughs> or they had those signs in their chart or something like that Yeah, Divine Masculine, yo ex, she had options in love. She was under an illusion. She was fake. She was a gold digger. And Divine Masculine, she would make fake accounts and make you dirty offers. And I think she was messing around with your father or something. Or living with your father or something. Yeah. But this might be the energy. This might be the energy I picked up on. This woman might pass away. If I'm asking your ex, yeah, or something like that. What's the scoop with the magician, the chariot, the sixth house idol, and movie date? What's the scoop? And then I'm gonna end it after this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The information or the situation may leave you shook, yeah. Divine Master, for some of y'all, you could be a little shook by Divine Master. You could have been insecure. Or Divine Master, your Divine Feminine gonna call you and tell you she pregnant. Or Divine Master, you could have been in, insecure in the past. And you didn't want to accept that your Divine Feminine like literally loved you unconditionally. The information or the situation may leave you shook. Or Divine Master, your father going to call you and tell you your ex or something passed away. While you're at work or you're on a date with another woman, your father going to call you and tell you your ex passed away. Um, what's the um scoop with the fool, the five of cups, and all for daydreaming of you and crush? Yeah, stuck in the past. Someone is stuck in the past. Yep. Mm. So, the white mask is somebody stuck in the past. You could be stuck in the past. It could be something to do with your father, the white mask. Or your lover could be stuck in the past. Or somebody stuck in the past. Or if I'm asking your father stuck in the past. Your ex could be stuck in the past. Somebody stuck. What's the scoop with the lovers, seven of cups, fake smiles, destroyed, digging for gold, fake accounts, and the dirty offer? Yeah, Halloween. Something significant about this holiday. About this holiday. So to my mask, I also see that maybe your ex might approach you while you're with your new lover. I also see to my mask, what happened is you could have had an online dating app. And to my mask, you was flirting with this woman maybe since Halloween, but you didn't know that it was your ex. So to my mask, your ex been catfishing you since Halloween. To my mask, because your ex is still stuck in the past, she might approach you this week and let you know that it was her this whole time catfishing you since Halloween. Or, Divine Master, I also see that your father 
could have been watching you since Halloween and you didn't know it was him. So it's like, I don't know if somebody kept calling your job, Divine Masculine, or somebody was leaving you gifts or anonymous messages. Divine Masculine, it could have been your father since Halloween or something. Some of y'all, your father might make himself known to you or something. Divine Masculine, some of y'all, your father been watching you since Halloween. And he could be stuck in the past, Divine Masculine. Or your father's girlfriend likes you. And she could have been catfishing you since Halloween. But Divine Masculine, your father's girlfriend could be your ex. Somebody stuck in the past. Divine Masculine is either you, your ex-lover, or your father. Somebody stuck in the past. Something about Halloween. Let me see. Well, give me the spill about Halloween. Nosy, yeah. All up in your business, asking too many questions, wanting every single detail. See, yeah. Divine Masculine, around Halloween of last year, somebody made a fake account to spy on you and they made you a dirty offer. Or Divine Masculine, somebody made somebody a dirty offer to spy on you around Halloween. Divine Masculine, somebody been doing something to you since Halloween. And they were being nosy. And it could be your ex. Somebody made somebody a dirty offer to spy on you. Since Halloween. Since Halloween, somebody been being nosy. Or Divine Masculine, you going to find out that your father or somebody been messing around with your ex since Halloween. Somebody been messing around with your ex since Halloween or something of last year. You could have also been being gang stalked. It's like Divine Masculine. If y'all, Divine Masculine, say like you had a lover. Or it could have been even your Divine Feminine. She was cheating on you, but the man she was cheating on you with, she was telling this man to spy on you. So it's like, this woman was cheating on you, Divine Masculine, with this man up here. He concerned. But she was telling this man to spy on you. Or, I don't know, Divine Masculine, if your lover was making fake accounts and was catfishing you online since Halloween or something. Oh, boy. But something is destroyed. Something or somebody is destroyed. Somebody broke it and somebody or something is effed up. Divine Masculine, I also see, too, that you might get news that your ex passed away because this man killed her. This man killed her. Because it's like the by masculine, somebody had somebody in a third party situation. Somebody was being fake, somebody was being nosy, and something been going on since Halloween, and somebody was actually being a gold digger. Somebody wanted somebody to, uh, ooh. The by masculine, you know what I just saw too when I picked up these two cards? The by masculine. Your ex was at this man house or with this man. And I don't know if your if your ex used this man's phone to like get into contact with you and he gonna find out. It's like the my masculine, this girl was using another man's phone to spy on you and this man might find out this week divine master well i don't know if this woman i don't know what this woman did but this man might kill her because this woman was doing something very bold 
and she was being a gold digger. But it's like when she's in this man's energy, she's in your business, Divine Master. So this man might hurt her or beat her up real bad. Because it's like Divine Masculine, your ex really didn't want the third party. She wanted you. And she was being fake towards the third party. And she was using this man for money. And she was being nosy. Since Halloween. So, Divine Masculine, your ex was using this man since Halloween. And he gonna find out something this week. And Divine Masculine, this man gonna hurt this woman. And this woman could be your ex, Divine Masculine. But it's like, I don't know if she used this man's phone to call you or she was using this man's laptop and she was like chatting with you on Facebook or something to my masculine. Something bold and crazy this woman did in the presence of another man. And this man might hurt her. Yeah, whatever your ex was doing to my master, she was doing it since Halloween. And this man gonna find out this week and he might hurt her. Yeah, something like that. So the white mask can be careful. Yeah. I just heard that this man gonna put this girl out of her misery because she's broken. Something is wrong with her. She oh my god, this woman is broken. So this man, he wrong for what, like, physically harming her. But I heard he's going to put her out of her misery. Because she has too many issues. Or she had, like, entity attachments. This woman got, like, ten demons with her. This woman got issues. She do any and everything. So it's like, the my masculine... This woman's boldness and promiscuous and her like audacity might get her hurt this week. Cause she was playing around with this man. And she gonna do something. She was doing something to this man since October and he gonna find out this week and he might hurt this girl. And I heard he's putting her out of her misery. So, yeah, and then we got lying. Someone is lying, yeah. Yeah, the my master, one of your exes, this woman was crazy. She's crazy. And I think this woman got like entity attachments to her. She could be very promiscuous. She had a lot of lovers. And she got entity attachments. And she's very bold. Um, and yeah, it might be the death of her this week. Yeah, because she was being fake. And she was using this man for money. And she was being nosy. Or the my masculine, I don't know if this week this woman is with like this other man. And while she's with this other man, she's on the phone arguing with you. And this man going to be like, who you on the phone with? This man going to say, oh, really? You talking to the, your divine masculine? You talking to your ex? Why are you asking him so many questions? So divine masculine, you can have a new lover. And your ex is going to cause you being nosy while her new lover is with her. And they, they might get into like a bad altercation and this man might hurt her. She might pass away. Or oh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, this woman gonna... Yeah. So if I'm asking, I don't know, for some of y'all, this could be your father that hurt that hurts this woman. Yeah. Yeah. Divine Master, for some of y'all, your father is a karmic to you. And he got issues. Your father got issues, Divine Master. 
Divine Masculine, your father was dating your ex. And he might do harm to your ex because your ex don't want him. She wants you. Or, Divine Masculine, your ex is going to royally disrespect your father this week in front of his face. And your father might hurt your ex. But, Divine Masculine, your father could be a karmic. And he's very, like, immature. For him to even, like, date your ex, something is wrong with him. Yeah. And, Divine Masculine, your father kind of, like, looked down on you a little bit because of your nature. You're very, like, opposite of him. Yeah, something like that going on to my master. I don't know if your father a narcissist. Let me see something. Or him and that karmic was on drugs together or something. But that, that give me the spill on this concern energy. Give me the spill. Yeah, confident. Somebody was confident about something. But this week they go this person go go is going to go from being confident to like almost having a nervous breakdown. Or Divine Masculine, your father wanted your ex because he liked her. He liked her confidence. And Divine Masculine, I guess your father felt as though you couldn't handle her because she was, like, too confident or something. Because Divine Masculine, I'm picking up you're very, like, soft-spoken, very, like, submissive. You, like, an introvert. You mind your business. You not rowdy. And it's like, Divine Masculine, your ex is going to get your father in trouble. It's like the very thing that he felt as though you couldn't handle about this woman. That's the thing that's going to get him in trouble this week. Or Divine Masculine, somebody's concerned about um, your confidence. Or Divine Masculine, somebody is highly concerned on the, nerve to, on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Because this person... Um, is aware that your new girlfriend, your real divine feminine, she confident as hell. And she's a good woman. And she's a good woman for you. So divine masculine, somebody about to have a nervous breakdown because they being nosy. And this person is aware that your new, your divine feminine, she's very confident. And divine masculine, your new divine feminine wouldn't dare sleep with your father. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, toxic waves flew out. Bad habits, addictions, can't stay away from harmful substances. Yeah, so this, I'm picking up, this is the third party. I don't know who this third party is. But it don't have to be for all y'all. It don't have to be your father. If I'm asking, somebody was sleeping around with your ex. And this person is concerned because if I'm asking, this concern energy... And your ex, they have toxic ways. Or divine masculine, it could be your ex that's toxic. So whoever the third party is or was, this person is like have, about to have a nervous breakdown. Because of toxic ways or divine masculine, your ex was toxic. Divine Masculine, it could have also been your ex that, that thought you was like a square because you wasn't a bad boy or you wasn't a thug. So it's like Divine Masculine, your ex might find out this week that you have um, your real Divine Feminine around you. And this woman about to have a nervous breakdown. Because it's like Divine Masculine, this woman really thought that her toxic ways would turn you on or something. This woman thought her toxic ways would turn you on. Or something. But somebody having a nervous breakdown because they was confident about something to do with toxic ways. And now somebody can't even go outside. Something like that going on. Yeah, Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, 
this concern energy is it's not you. It's um your third party, like the competition or divine masculine. It's like your ex or something. And somebody on the verge of like a nervous breakdown, divine masculine. I don't know, divine masculine, if somebody was trying to make you feel inferior or feel like a, a female or somebody could have been trying to say you're feminine because you're quiet you're you're introverted you're you could be a veterinarian or something to my masculine and somebody could have been trying to downplay you or make you feel bad to my masculine because you're not a thug or something like that but to my masculine somebody might pass away this, uh, pass away this week yeah, somebody, yeah. Divine Masculine, somebody wanted you to be something you're not. And you wouldn't change for this person. And I don't blame you. Somebody wanted you to be a thug. And Divine Masculine, you refuse. Yep. And this same person, Divine Masculine, that was trying to make you feel bad because you wasn't a thug. This person going to pass away this week. Because this person, for some of y'all, this woman, whoever this person is, this person was like possessed. Oh my God, this person has so many issues. So many issues. And somebody might put this person out their misery this week. This person crazy. They want to go get help. It's like Divine Masculine, you probably got issues too, but it ain't nothing demonic. This person being demonic. Or something like that. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, the moocher. Yep. Someone who survives off another's income. One who, one who even if they have their own money will use someone else's first. And then feeling trapped. Feeling like there is no way to improve a situation. Could be feeling stuck in a circumstance or a relationship. Mm -hmm. And then split personality. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Somebody might get trapped in a house. This woman might get trapped in a house. This man might trap her in the, in the house and, and assault her. She's going to literally feel trapped. Something like that. And then we hot, we got hooked. So these two people could have been on drugs. They were more than friends. Divine Masculine, this could very well be your father that was dating your um, ex-lover. And he might, Divine Masculine, your father might do harm to your ex. And they was get, they could have been getting high together. And Divine Masculine, this, old, this woman, Divine Masculine, your ex was your foster one playing. And she had a proker face. So to my masculine, you might find out the truth this week that your father, the one who did harm to your ex, and he was dating her, and they was getting high together. So to my masculine, it could have been your father and your ex who used to make you feel bad about who you are because you didn't want to be a thug. You went to work every day. You a veterinarian. You quiet. You stay home. You mind your business. So to my masculine, it could have been your false twin and your father... Who is making you feel like bad about yourself, making you think you will never find a woman because of your personality? But Divine Masculine, I see in the cards this week that you have a, a woman, a real woman too. And she your Divine Feminine. And Divine Masculine, your ex, your false twin, she might end up deceased. And Divine Masculine, your father gonna end up in jail. Because those was the two that was harassing you, Divine Masculine. Making your life a living hell. I see it now. Yeah. It could have been your father and your false twin. And th both of them could be drug addicts. And they were sleeping around in my master. Your father could have also been pimping her as well. Having her sleep with men. Yep. Yep. So. And my master, that's what I have going on for you this week. Let me give you some advice. So, Divine Masculine, you might learn something, too, about a twin flame mission. Divine Masculine, you're going to learn who your real twin is and who your false twin is. 
Divine Masculine, you could have favored your false twin over your real twin because of your father. Your father could have made you feel bad about your real twin because he wanted you to be with your false twin or something like that. But Divine Masculine, you might get clarification about who your real twin is and who your false twin is. Because Divine Masculine, I'm picking up this week, your false twin might pass away. Your false twin is going to pass away. And so in our reality, she is a karmic divine master. So, yeah, divine masculine, you are going to regret messing with the chosen one. Your divine feminine. So it's like divine masculine. It was you, your false twin, your divine feminine, and your father. All four of y'all in a situation. And Divine Masculine, maybe in the past, you could have mistreated your, your real Divine Feminine because of your father. Your father, he a thug, he a player, he this, he that. So if your karmic, your false, pl your false twin, she a player, she a thug, she this, she that. It's like Divine Masculine, your father didn't want you to be around your real, divi your real Divine Feminine. So the white master, I'm picking up. You didn't offend your real divine feminine on purpose. It was like your up, your upbringing, and you wanted to prove your manhood to like your father or something. Yeah, but the white master, you still gonna get a little bit of karma for like um, miss, like whatever you went on between you and you and your divine feminine in the past. Yeah. All right. What's the divine masculine's advice for this? Especially if his false twin pass away. What's the divine masculine's advice with this energy? Because this. What's the divine masculine's advice dealing with this energy? Purpose and abundance. So the divine masculine, your advice is to know purpose. What's your purpose? Why did this happen? What have I learned? I know what I am here to do, purpose, abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So to my master, I'm hearing your purpose is abundance. That's your advice. And you deserve nothing less. So this is your advice. I'm hearing to my master, your advice is to accept reality. And the reality is to my master, spirit is going to prove to you spirit so i'm hearing divine masculine the most high is going to father you this week the most high is going to be your father this week and tell you the truth because divine masculine your earthly father would not do it so divine masculine your earthly father was telling you the wrong thing so what spirit gonna do divine masculine is show you what the right thing is so divine masculine your false twin might pass away so if you was confused about who real and who ain't, Divine Master, your false twin might pass away this week. Because Spirit wants you to be abundant. Divine Master, if you would have stayed with your false twin, you wouldn't have been abundant. You would have been probably dead or, or on drugs or something. Divine Master, your purpose is abundance. That's your advice. And I heard Divine Master, your, your advice is to accept this, that your purpose is of, of abundance. Divine Masculine, you wasn't meant to be like your father. You wasn't meant to be a thug or a pimp or a player or a drug addict or you was not meant to be that. Divine Masculine, you was meant for abundance. And your real Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, is going to help you with this abundance because it's your purpose. It's your birthright. And Divine Masculine, your father wanted, was against the Most High's purpose for you. He was against it. So the master, your father is a karmic to you. And he might end up in jail. Because he might do harm to your fake karmic. To your false twin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So do my mask. But again, your advice this week is purpose and abundance. Know what you are here to do. Divine Master and Spirit want you to know what, why you're here, your purpose. And Divine Master, your purpose is abundant. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So Divine Master, your false twin and probably your father, they they didn't want you to know that you're a limitless being. Divine Master, somebody was telling you, you, li you limited. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't be a cop. You can't do that. You can't work for the police. You can't do that. You limited. You can't do certain stuff. You know how can you do that? And you got an ailment. Why should you get a service dog? You don't need no service dog. You a man. You don't go to the doctor. You don't do this. You be a man. Something crazy. Yeah, divine master. Somebody wanted you to think that you were limited, and you're actually not. You're actually not. You're a limitless being. And spirit wants you to know that this week. So divine masculine, I don't know where your mother at. I don't know where your mother at, divine masculine. But for most of y'all, I picked up this concern energy, this stressed out person. This person is your father. And he's a karmic to you, divine masculine. And um, you're real divine feminine. Divine Masculine, she's your helpmate. She, she was born to help you. Yeah. And she's definitely not going to limit you. Yeah. In no shape, form, or fashion. Or something like that. Divine Masculine, your father could have also been telling your false twin to um, get pregnant by you. Or something. Or something. Or something like that. But I'm going to end it. Because Divine Master, that's what's going on for you this week. So this is Love Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll share. And um, Divine Masculine, enjoy the week and thank you.